Um, in the previous video, we talked about the four parameters of price. Um, key parameters, the open, high, low, close um, price. Um, and at the time, we looked at a lady that sells, to, that sells tomatoes. She opened her, tra uh, her market, her shop at 150 Naira. And she had a low price of 147 Naira. 147 Naira and she closed at 157 Naira and she had a high price of 162 Naira and so we can draw this yeah and um, you will notice that in, in trading um, on my chart um, I, I, will, I will explain how I represent some of these things but you will realize that what's happened here is that the open price is, is lower than the and the close price, so the close price is higher than the open price, and then the, the there's a low and there's a high. Now, before I go further with this, in trading, we can uh, when you look at charts, trading charts or price charts and all those things, you can either find a line chart. So on your TV, MSNBC, um, or Bloomberg, when you look at what prices do, you tend to see things like this. And those are these are just lines like that, and this shows us that um, whatever this is, that the price is going up. And um, now these are lines, and this represents only the close of the price. So they, you take only the C, the close, and they plot it on day one, day two, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, and so every single day. They only take the close price and they plot it onto a graph and we get lines like this. In trading as well, we do have what is called um, bar charts. So bar charts will be, they look like a, a vertical stick, <laughs> vertical stick, and then with two horizontal lines either side. Now on the left hand side of the bar is always the open price. And on the right hand side of the bar is always the closed price. So if I go this way, this will be my open price. If I go this way, this will be my closed price. And this bit here will be my low price. And this bit here will be my high price. Now, I could also have a situation where I have the vertical line. And then my open price is there. And my closed price is there. So again, I have my open price, I have my close price, I have my high here, and I have my low. So this shows me that the close is higher, which means price went up in that period. Whereas in this case here, where the close price is lower, it means that price came down in that same period. Does that make sense? I do hope it makes sense. Now, the, the kind of chart I prefer to use is the candlestick chart. Now the candlestick chart is similar to the principle behind the bar chart um, but it's more like what we experience with the lady that sells tomatoes. Okay and so with the with the bar with the candlestick let's do one with um, the so we have the candlestick that way so where we have the closed price higher, so if the closed price is here, which is higher, and the open price is here, the low price is here, and the, the high price is there, I tend to represent that as a green candle. Okay? And a situation where we have the same kind of candlestick, so low, high, but in this case, I have my close lower than my open. In that case, I represent it on my graphs, on my charts, as red candlestick. And what that simply means is, in this situation here, it would have been different for this lady if she closed at a lower price than she opened. So, a red bar in my the color doesn't make you money the color doesn't really matter i just define my situation where price has gone down so in this case here yeah, price went down so the open is higher than the close right 
whereas here the close is higher than the open, which means that price went up over time. Yeah, and that's what you will see on the chart. So as you look at the chart right now, you can see the green candle representing a situation where price moved up in that time period. In the reverse, we have the red candle representing in the same period where price has moved. Price closed lower than it opened, and so it's a red candle, um, as it were. Okay? Now, we will go through some other videos um, and in our various training um, to then show you how to make money out of this knowledge because this is just bare knowledge, foundational knowledge, but you still need to know how to make profits using this. Okay? See you in the next video.